Today we're going to be making uh, the marination for tikka. So um, it goes in chicken tikka, we put it in some fish dishes as well, we marinate start, uh, meat with it. So what we're going to need is one teaspoon of salt, half a litre of yoghurt, which is about a pint, uh, three teaspoons of garlic and ginger, three teaspoons of our desi style mix powder, uh, one and a half teaspoon of Coleman's mint sauce, one sprinkle of garam masala, half a teaspoon of Kashmiri paste, one teaspoon of tikka paste, one and a half teaspoons of tandoori paste, uh, one and a half teaspoons of red colour, one teaspoon of yellow colour, two teaspoons of mustard oil, one slice of lemon, fresh lemon, one sprinkle of meti. So it sounds like quite a lot. You can put it in, in any order and then you mix it really. So I've started, I've already got the yogurt in here, natural yogurt. So then we have our garlic and ginger paste, which I've shown you how to make. So three teaspoons of that. Then you have our desi style mix powder. So about, I think two and a half would actually do it for that quantity. Like I said, I might go up and down on the ingredients uh, because I've never made such a small amount. So then I've got um, Coleman's um, fresh garden mint sauce. Then we have our, our garam masala, our curry by air masala. Just a sprinkle, it's quite strong. Thanks for everybody that's been supporting our spices, been buying it, um, and that's been supporting my channel where the views are going up. Um, so please, Feel free to comment, like, share, subscribe. Then we have uh, our Kashmiri paste, just half a teaspoon. It's quite strong, so try and use less is better than more. So then we've got our tikka, one and a half. You can put two in there, two teaspoons. Then we have our tandoori paste one whole teaspoon and then our red colour it's about one teaspoon we may need a little bit more this is what gives it the orangey colour in the tikka and then our yellow colour egg yellow colour about one teaspoon because red colour I did put about one and a one and a half teaspoons of Then we have our mustard oil, two teaspoons. Then we have a, a cut fresh lemon. Some people put lemon juice, which is, I think, perfectly fine, but we like to keep it fresh. So squeeze the juice in. And you've got a sprinkle of meti. In there and I think I forgot to write it but we do need a little bit of salt it's about, about a teaspoon should do it three quarters of a teaspoon just a little bit less put that in there like I said it, it doesn't matter what order you put it in because it's all just gonna get mixed up and then we have a, and then you'll need a whisker Keep whisking it until it's all mixed. So you can see it's starting to turn a little bit orange. So I'm going to need a little bit more colouring in there. So you want to put more red in there. So I'll put another couple of teaspoons of red in there. Remember, you want it quite strong, the taste and the colour, because it's going to marinate into the chicken. So it's going to lose some of the colouring um, and the flavour is going to dilute. So you will taste it at the end and I'll tell you how it should taste like. So whatever colour it is, just think it will get lighter once it soaks into the chicken. So we also make tandoori chicken with this. 
Okay, so I've added a bit more colour. So add more colour until it's quite a darky, sort of dark red colour. Whiskey, keep whiskey. Um, once you, once it's all whisked, give it a taste. Yeah, so it should be very strong. You should have this like quite bitter um, taste. I don't think it's too strong because it will dilute into the chicken um, and the taste and the color would uh, go down. So yeah, give it a taste. It should be bitter, quite bitter, lemony, salty taste. It should be strong. So don't think, oh no, this is gonna be too strong. It will go in the chicken. Um, or whatever you marinate with. We use it for fish as well. And then obviously it, it will dilute the taste. There you have it, a marination for tikka. We're gonna be making chicken tikka. So exactly how the restaurant does it. We're gonna, it's a very special edition. We're gonna use a tandoor oven. So I'm in the kitchen, but we at home you can use an oven um, just a normal oven should do it probably won't have this exact same flavor but it's a good substitute so I've shown you how to make the tikka marination so you get breasted chicken you marinate it I would say at least 24 hours some people say you can give it a minimum of four 24 to 48 hours is ideal so I would put about half a pint for three breasts yeah I'm going to make just one breast chicken, but if you put it for three, one breast, a medium sized breast like that, you're going to get about five bits of chicken, which is about one portion. So this is about three curries worth. Um, so yeah, just basically um, marinate it, leave it overnight, and then it's ready to go in the oven. Or I'm going to use the tandoor, do it exactly how we do it. So I've got the breasted chicken there. And I'm skewering it on. Skewering it on here. I'm gonna do two breasts actually, because they're they're one breast. It was one big breast that's just been cut in half. You can actually do the actual cube size. The reason why we do um, half a breast is because it will take us so long if we just individually done each piece. But if you're looking just to do five, ten pieces of chicken, you can individually marinate them, cut it, then marinate them, and then just skewer it on. I think you can use cocktail sticks, or you could just put this whole breast in the oven and just turn it over. Um, I've done that before and it works fine. So it's just going to go in the tandoor now. It's going to need about, about 15 minutes in the tandoor. I can't put it to full maximum um, thing. Uh, flame because what it will do it will burn the outside and won't cook the inside so you've got to put it low gas let it and same in the oven same theory at home make sure it's cooked inside if in doubt 75 degrees for 30 seconds with a probe or have a look at it, it should be nice and white inside okay so it's been about 15 minutes um, and that's pretty much done that's pretty much done what you want to do is you want to cut it up into pieces so then you want to cut it in half just make little chunks of chicken you want to just cut it up into um, little chicken sizes for your curry or your chicken tikka main So your chicken tikka is ready for your curries. That can go straight into your curry. So like a masala or whatever. 
that any chicken tikka curry that's ready if you want a chicken tikka made we've then just got the jalfrezi onions we've sizzled this up and then we just want to put a little bit of lemon juice around the side so it just sizzles up nicely and it's presented really nicely so there you have it guys a chicken tikka sizzling chicken tikka going to be making shashlik and uh, most of it I've shown you how to do so it's not going to be too much in this video um, all the other pre-made stuff is already down in my descriptions just click the link below and that'll show you how to make everything so we're gonna basically we've got some tandoor sauce uh, not too much so there's a little bit in there um, you just need some veg so you've got a, a tomato a pepper and some onions so basically we're just going to marinate the veg in that and add it to chicken tikka. That's basically what a shashlik is. Very healthy, very high in protein. Um, a lot of um, people on diets, uh, bodybuilders will have this kind of stuff. Don't forget to subscribe, comment and like um, and ask me any questions. I've been helping a lot of people on YouTube. So we've got an uh, onion first, not too small. So you want to make it in like quarter sizes really. Um, going to try and make sure it doesn't come off. You can use a normal oven for this. Um, I think you can get little mini cocktail sticks that will skewer it. Or you can just do it, just put, put it marinated on the tray. Um, I'm sure it'll be fine. Um, so then we've got a tomato. So just kind of like in half. You want a big chunky sizes. You don't need a whole pepper, just a little bit. I'm kind of doing one portion. So if you need more, just double it up or triple it up. Okay. So I've cut them all into kind of chunks, really. Um, and then what you want to do is put it with the marination. And then just marinate the veg with it. You can leave it overnight to get a real marination. But you don't really need to, you know, it's not like the chicken where it really needs to soak in. Okay, so I've got a skewer now. I've got my veg um, here, as you can see. Uh, and then just I'm just going to pierce, in, pierce it into the skewer. So you want an even amount of onion, tomato and peppers. Right, and that's going to be ready to go in. Just going to let it cook in the tandoor for a while. Like I said, you can use an oven at home. You're not going to, um, most people haven't got a tandoor oven, but it's the same principle. Um, it probably will taste a little bit more better in the tandoor, but um, oven will just do, just do fine. So uh, we've got the shashlik out there, tandoor oven. As you can see, it's nice and really well coated. It's um, quite, quite crispy. So it's cooked nicely. The tikka marination has marinated, which will give the veg a really nice flavour. Mm -hmm. Now we're just going to put the veg on top of the chicken. So you've got the chicken tikka already in there, which I've shown you how to do. And then the marinated vegetables um, on a sizzler. There you have it. A chicken, a nice healthy chicken shashlik, marinated chicken tikka, marinated vegetables.